Neighbors around a popular Jefferson County lake are bracing for flooding. Pete Cervakis reports on the impact of the rising water. This is the Rock River near where it feeds into Lake Kashkinong. We've seen the water continue to rise. It was already about a foot above flood stage this morning. Check out the docks at Patton's Marine. No boats left. Getting boats out of the water um, so that they're not susceptible to the, the currents. Workers moved them to higher ground so they wouldn't get swept away by the high water that's smothering the store's business. Is this normally a busy time of year for you? Typically, yes. The shop sells and repairs boats, but owner Wes Johnson says most customers already pulled their vessels for the year because of the high water. If my customers aren't using their boats, I can't fix them. According to the National Weather Service, the Rock River near the lake is almost 11 feet high. It could near 12 feet by Monday. This is one of the highest years I've seen in the fall ever. As John House kayaks onto this marsh, he worries about the potential for more flooding. Some area roads are already washed out. If it keeps coming up, then we have to start sandbagging and uh, all that other fun stuff. Wes hopes the water won't creep into his store. He acknowledges it's already cost him some money. We have such a short window to begin with, you know, in Wisconsin for, for recreating on the water. Um, it definitely, definitely hurts us. The National Weather Service says if its projection comes to fruition, we'll see more water cover up other yards and roads here early next week. In Fort Atkinson, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4.